Good afternoon. This is the Blue Radio News update. My name is Diana Womboy. President William Ruto has maintained that the government will not borrow money to pay delayed civil servants' salaries. This comes even as civil servants are set to go on strike to press the government to pay salaries, a move that could throw the public service into turmoil. Speaking during the release of the performance contracting report at KICC, President Ruto noted that it was the first time the country was experiencing the issue of delayed salaries. The president assured public servants yet to receive their much salaries that they'll get their payments soon. The head of state further stated that the government will mobilize local resources to settle the salaries. Azimiola Umoja One Kenya Coalition has announced the return of public barazas a week after suspending anti-government protests. In a statement, Azimio Executive Council Chair Wycliffe Oparanya said the purpose of the public barazas is to enable the party explain to the people the next course of action following the suspension of demonstrations. The coalition is set to hold its first town hall meeting in Nairobi this Thursday, followed by a public rally at Kamukunji grounds on Sunday. Moving on, police in Kisumu are holding a 31-year man for dangerous driving after he rammed a vehicle in Kondele, injuring five people. Nyanza Regional Traffic Boss Joseph Nganga says the driver is locked up and will be charged for relevant traffic offenses. The driver is said to have sneaked away with his dad's Toyota Prado and the driver's parents told the police that their son is mentally challenged. The Kenya Revenue Authority Board of Directors has kicked off the race to replace former Commissioner General Githi Mburu, who exited office in February. Mr. Mburu resigned in February, less than eight months into his new term, and in changes that saw the KRA board replace three of the agency's seven managers. In a statement, KRA Chairman Anthony Mwaura said those interested in replacing Mr. Mburu have until April the 25th to send their applications. In sports, KCB has launched its Unagro East Africa Golf Tour set to traverse six countries and 12 counties in Kenya. Dubbed the KCB East Africa Golf Tour, the eight-month series will comprise an 18-leg amateur series in Kenya with Tanzania and Uganda fielding two series each while DRC, Rwanda and Burundi will host one tournament apiece. The entry into the East African nations will give an opportunity to regional golf enthusiasts to participate in the tournament. The series will be open to professionals, amateurs, and juniors. That's the new subject. My name is Diana Womboy.